G'day trendsetters, coming to you today with a tips video of sorts relating to Shimano semi-wireless drivetrains. In the instance to my right, Shimano Ultegra Di2 12-speed fitted to a Linsky Helix Pro titanium road bike. As an FYI, whilst it might be designed for road, you can ride this group set on gravel, it won't break, and I have a review coming later. Quick segue, I know you're going to ask, what's the deal with the wheels on this bike? Well, these are the Elite Wheels, that's elite-wheels.com, drive six, six crazy spokes. They're designed for gravel, and I have a long-term review linked in the description below, and if you're interested in a set and want to save yourself 15%, my coupon code on screen will accomplish that feat. Now, onto the subject matter about this video. If you ever need to make an on-the-fly a shifting adjustment to your rear derailleur, meaning, say for example, you swap a wheel with a different cassette, then all of a sudden, rot roll, the shifting is not as smooth, it's not quite lined up, etc., and you need to make an adjustment. Typically, with this version of DR2, you have to stop, get off the bike, place the rear derailleur into adjustment mode, make your adjustments with the shift levers, take the rear derailleur out of adjustment mode, and then continue about your merry way. With the 11-speed DI2 systems, you could easily place the system into adjustment mode utilizing the little button on the junction box. However, there is a little known trick. You can change the functionality of these shifters to place that rear derailleur into adjustment mode wirelessly. So you can keep riding, adjust your rear derailleur, get your shifting perfect, all while you continue riding. Here is how you do it. First step, fire up your E-Tube software. Next, place your rear derailleur into pairing mode. Hold down the little button right there, about half a second, and you'll see the flashing blue LED indicating pairing mode is active. There we go. Rear derailleur found. I'm going to skip registration for this demonstration. Customize menu is what we require. Let's tap one of the shift lever buttons here. We need to wake them up. Let's wake up the left side. Then wake up the right side. I like the right shifter to perform this functionality, so tap that right there. And currently default is DFly channel two. Scroll there to RD function, that's it. Hit confirm, and then the apply button. Write the change by tapping the shifter. And the change is made. Next we'll disconnect, pardon the lighting. Disconnect it from the app. There you see the rear derailleur waiting for a command of some kind. Let's Press the new function we have assigned to the right shifter. So we hold down the button for about two seconds and that should place the rear derailleur into adjustment mode. And there you see the yellow light indicates the rear derailleur is in adjustment mode. So I can micro adjust from the handlebars the rear derailleur using the shift paddles. Let's just try that right now for your viewing pleasure. Moved it three spaces to the right, let's move it back. And we'll do it again, closer up. And back again. And to finish the adjustment while you're riding, just hold down the button and that's it. So there you have it, Trendsetters, my tips video, if you will, on wirelessly adjusting your rear derailleur for Shimano semi-wireless electronic drivetrains. Super convenient. Adjustment from the handlebar. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for fascinating tip videos such as this one. No bullshit. Gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, ride experience videos, and my favorite, General Madness 
Rock roll. This car has three pedals. <laughs> yeah, as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you mm, in the next video.